Hello and welcome to the 2022-2023 school year. My name is Mr. Stewart. Just to give you a little information about me, I received an educational background from Georgian Court University. I have a degree in history and in special education. Before coming to the Jackson School District, I worked at a private school in Wall Township called the Rugby School, which was a school for students with special needs. This is my fourth year teaching in Jackson. Uh, aside from teaching, I also coach boys cross country and boys track and field. I'm an also an outside of school an instructor of martial arts. This is my course schedule for the 2022 school year. For the first semester, I'll be working in seventh grade social studies, both resource and ICS. And I will also have one block of eighth grade social studies where I'll, I will be working with Mrs. Gracer. For the second semester, I'll be entirely seventh grade social studies, again, both resource and ICS. The nuts and bolts of the classroom operations, what we expect of students is first for them to be on time to class, to find their seat and be prepared, to bring their school issued Chromebook and headphones with them. This is extremely important. So they should always have their Chromebooks charged every evening and ready to go the next day. They should also have something to write with. They need to come in with a attitude where it's a positive attitude and they're ready to work with their classmates. Uh, they're going to be engaging in conversations. So whenever we're having discussions, we do expect that they raise their hands and we patiently to be called on during any discussion. And as far as leaving the classroom, we do allow them to use the bathroom or use a nurse pass, but we do expect them to use them one at a time. Our grading policy in the class is it's 20% of the grade is based on classwork and participation. So this can include things like guided notes, discussion in class, and the activities that we engage in. 30% is based on homework. And I'll talk a little bit more about this in just a moment. And then finally, 50% of the grade is based on assessment. We lump projects, quizzes, and tests all together under the assessment uh, banner, and each of those weigh the same. So regardless, if it's a 12 question quiz, versus a 30 question test, they are all worth 50% of the grade. At the end of the day, this is really actually beneficial for students, it can really help improve their grade overall, as long as they're preparing for those assessments. So just go back to the homework grading policy, students in our class, in the seventh grade classes, they will receive up to two homework assignments per week. These are issued as ed puzzles, it's assigned at the beginning of the academic week and is always due by the end of the day on Friday. When we say the end of the day on Friday, we mean submitting by the end of the academic day, which is 3 p.m. Students who uh, submit their homework beyond that time are considered late and they will receive no credit for the assignments that they've completed. The reasoning behind this is that students often get in math classes and literacy classes homework every night our policy is different. They're given the assignments on Monday. They have the entire week to schedule around their other responsibilities. And as long as they have it in before the due date, they are fine. A long-term project, students always receive instructions in class as well as rubrics and a due date for their long-term assignments. Students will always receive class time to work on projects and they will get assistance from instructors during that time. But whatever is not completed during class time becomes the responsibility of the students to complete independently. We are available for after school help whenever possible, but just keep in mind that we do have some responsibilities that we must attend to after school. So coaching, professional development, things of that nature may limit the time that we have available to assist students in class. Generally, how the class works is that we design the structure of the class to meet the needs of all of our students. We strive to create consistent classroom expectations and procedures so that students become familiar with how to navigate the class information independently. We want them to, by the end of seventh grade, be prepared for eighth grade and beyond. Activities and assignments and assessments are designed to be, excuse me one moment, engaging and authentic. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can best, the best way to reach me is by my email, rstuart at jacksonsd.org.